What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part we did none other than beat the blooper and did the remaining side quest in Toad Town. This part, um, Twink advised us that we are basically going to be going to uh, the uh, we're basically going to be going to none other than the uh, Mount Rugged in Dry Dry Desert. Which Mount Rugged is where Dry Dry Desert is. Now I wanted to take another, I want to take I want to get some more coins, so, um, I'm only really doing this because we're playing a re-release, but I want to get some more coins so I can buy more stuff later, because we're, we're going to need to buy more stuff. All right. Sorry if I'm cheating again, but, um, we're going to load a save state. We're going to create a save state. All right. Well, now I know the first Bowser is. Now I know the other Bowser is. So yeah, we know where both Bowsers are. It's best when you load save states to get the, uh, what am I trying to say? Get the F5s last like that. Yeah, we're just gonna get some more coins. So, um, yeah, we get 230 coins out of that. So, yeah, it's a really cheap way to get coins. It only really works if you're playing a re-release, though. So, uh, I guess that's a little unfortunate if you're playing the N64 version. But, uh, hey, getting coins isn't really the easiest of all tasks. Actually, uh, I, I'm not gonna actually, uh, do that just yet. Actually, what are these toads up to say? We're finally departing on the train, girls. Do you have all your bags and everything? I hope I didn't forget if anybody didn't know. Okay, okay, let's go to my everybody except. Let me just check my bags one more time real quick. You're the best, Mars. Let's nice see the train up and running once again. It really wasn't a whole lot of fun watching it just sit there. Oh, thank you, Mario. The train's back on track. All aboard. This train is bound for Mount Rugged. Are you coming, Mario? Yes. This train is up about to embark. Please board quickly. Sit tight, folks. Now they're departing from Mount Rugged. And we just have to get to our cutscene, which uh, the train. Now we get to see that the. Uh, we get to see kind of a uh, desert like location in the background. So it's pretty much. I think it's pretty much a, almost a staple in Mario games that. The second area has to be a desert world. After all, it's very common in 2D Mario games. And this kind of is a blend between 2D and 3D. Anyway, Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. Anyway, so, um... Mount Rocket, Mount Rocket, passenger heading for Dry Dry Desert, Dry Dry, proceed directly over from Mount Rocket from the station. Now, the first thing you want to do is grab this, an egg. We're going to need this a little bit later. Now, um, we cannot go back to Toad Town just yet, but I want to go back to Toad Town eventually so I can... Ah, uh, no, Kill Founder, where could it be? Oh, sorry folks, very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why, you are. You are THE Mario. Hello there. The name's Karakari. I deliver letters. Um, I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Wouldn't you know it? I dropped it on Mount Rugged. Now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area through it for a while. Anyway, so we have to find Paracarry's letters. Give me a ticket for an airplane. Ain't got time to take a fast train. Lonely days are gone. Um, I, I had to. Like, uh, that's a song by the uh, Box Tops. I've already referenced Alex Schilt. I already referenced Alex Shilton in my uh, Sumar 3D World play. But anyway, these are Money Moles. Um... They have 4 HP, which means one power jump will take them out. 
However, I'm not gonna bomb because I want to use left FP. And they have two uh, attack power. We are almost to a level up, I believe. Actually, no, we already leveled up in the last video. What are we talking about? So yeah, we're, the Wackus Bump, if we, it, it restores 25 HP and 25 FP. However, we're gonna need that later on for a, uh, we're gonna need that a little bit later on for uh, what am I trying to say? A, uh, s what am I? Tr what the hell am I trying to say? We're gonna need that for a tasty recipe because uh, we're, we're only gonna need that later, though. Anyway, so we got the letter. We got the first letter, and uh, one thing I like to do, even though it's not the easiest task. Yeah, if, if you can first strike these things with Bombat, it'll insta kill them. Anyway, so, um, what, I should probably adjust my badges really quick, okay. I don't need, I don't think I need pretty lucky anymore, I, let's see, um, let's use D-Down Pound, we've never tried that yet, and, uh, yeah, D-Down Pound's a very good badge at this point, and I, just, I guess I can kind of demonstrate how it works. So yeah, D-Down Pound. These enemies have two points of defense, meaning our hammer will be useless against them. However, D-Down Pound pierces their defense. So, um, yeah, basically, um, D-Down Pound, Pound basically pierces their defense, so D-Down Pound basically do two damage regardless. It's very good for enemies that have high defense like these. So yeah, now that I got to show these enemies properly. However, um, actually, um, there's gonna be a, there's a star piece over here, so I might as well go grab it. So yeah, we were just, I'm just trying to see how many star pieces I have. Anyway, so I, I forgot I went to Merlin, and I went to Merlin in the last part, but, um, this is the second letter location. Anyway, so the last letter location will be the left. Now, I know these letter locations basically because I've beaten Paper Mario like dozens and dozens of times. Like, I'd say this is like up there with like Mario 64 in terms of like amount of times I've beaten this game. Because I have, let's just say I've beaten this game a lot. And yeah, you get to first strike these guys. If you can time it just right, you'll just instantly ambush them. And we'll just power jump them and uh... We're already almost halfway to a level up. That's uh, very nice. Defeating enemies is also a really good way to get coins. Now, if you if we go over here, um, if we go over here, we get uh, then the uh, damage dodge badge, which I think I'm gonna equip. Which we have to get rid of some badges. Um, we don't need close call, but the problem is we have to get we need we have to get rid of power jump for now, so we can have room for a uh, damage dodge. Because I think I want D-Down Pound. I'll de-equip it when I'm uh, out of this area. Now, there's a star piece over here that we cannot quite reach. So, uh, we're going to need a specific character. To re we're going to need a later... We're going to need a, a specific character to reach that. Anyway, so if we go over here, we get the uh, the last of the letters. So, um... Let's see if I can time it up one last one. There we go. And we'll just take out these guys. And I forgot I didn't have power jump. So I guess we have to find them the old fashioned way. Or I guess the normal way. But thankfully with damage dodge, how it works is that if you time an attack, it does one less damage. We got, we're almost half. We're, we're almost halfway to a level up, which is very solid. So, uh, I could cut until we're at Paracarry, except it's not really too long walk because we end up all the way back here. So, um, I know for a fact for all the tasty recipes in the game, we're gonna need to get the Wackas bump twice. So I'm just gonna grab one more and put it in the shop later. very careful about Wacka because if you hit him too many times, he'll disappear forever and you cannot get him back. 
No, I see this pair of carry. So, um... Oh, that's the one! Oh, thanks for the find here. I'm so relieved. Uh, actually, I was also looking for the two other lost letters I may, the letters I may have lost. It wasn't my fault, really. If you find them, could you? Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. That's the one I, I've dropped by accident. Thanks so much, really. Of course, there's still one more letter left. It's, if it's if all, po at all possible, could you please find it, too? I'm really scouring this area down here, but so far I haven't had much luck. The last letter! You found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I really wish there was some way I could repay with some you for your help. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost the letters on Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped some all the Mushroom from Kingdom while I was flying. Heh <laughs> yeah. You know you're good at finding letters. Do you think you can keep an eye out during your travels? I'm trying to cut off you whatever help I can. Oh, praise the stars! I wasn't looking forward to having to find all these letters by myself. No, sorry. I'll do my very best to help you. You should not regret this. And Paracarry has joined our party. Press C down and have him carry Mario Fly for a short time. He can carry Mario over short gaps, but he, that he couldn't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can attack with Skydive, smashing the enemies with his shell shot ability. Now onward. Oh, but hey, by the way, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep in, keep in mind, all right? I'm actually going to take a brief trip back to Toad Town so I can, um... Basically, remember that egg that we got from uh, earlier? Yeah, remember the uh, egg that we got earlier? So, uh, yeah, we're basically, um, we're basically gonna deliver it. Or not deliver it, but, uh, we're basically going to go back to Toe Town so we can get another one of, one of the taste tea recipes. I could cut it, but like, once you do go to the train scene twice, you can skip it. So, um, yeah, so we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna go and, uh, go to Tasty, and, uh, we're also gonna, gonna put those two Wackas bump in the store so we can just claim them later. Because we're gonna need those later for Tasty recipes. Anyway, so if we, um, if we go to Tasty, we're gonna do, um, and she's, we're gonna use the egg. Yes, you shall cook with the egg. And we get the fried egg, which restores 10 HP. So, um, now we're gonna go to the other shop. There's a second shop in Toad Town, so we might as well utilize that. So, um, we're just gonna put the two Wackas bumps in the, uh, we're just gonna check the two Wackas bumps. Yeah, we should be, we should give, be good for now. So, um, yeah, now we're gonna go back to Mount Rugged and um, see if we can uh, see if we can end up going to Dry Dry Desert. Thankfully, um, you can you can skip the second time you have to go to Mount Rugged. Thank, not, thankfully, you can skip the train cutscene the second time you do it, so you don't have to view it every time. That is kind of a nice feature. also going to pick up a second egg and then put it in a later shop because we're also going to need an egg for a later taste tea recipe so it's nice to grab it while we have it anyway so there's actually a couple of things that we can now para carry in our party we can now cross huge gaps that we previously could not I'm actually gonna show off a battle and show off Paracarry's mechanics. So, um, so Paric, I will basically show off both of Paracarry's moves. He has skydive and shell shot. Skydive's kicking an enemy, and shell shot is attacking enemy in the air while bumping into it. So, um, you have to time the A button at the right time, which I was able to successfully do. And if we, and Paracarry's other move is shell shot, you have to kind of aim for the target. It does five damage. Paracarry, I think, is a great candidate for one of the best party members in the game, and I'll get more into it later. Ooh, a honey syrup. Yeah, 
yeah, Paracarry is definitely a great can't. So yeah, now Paragon is one of the great, great cannon for one of the best characters in the game. And also on top of this, um, if we if we do if we go over here, we cannot now get this badge we previously not, and we, we previously cannot is the Quake Hammer badge. I would strongly recommend getting the Quake Hammer badge for this point in the game. It'll be a lifesaver for this chapter. I guess we can also kind of show the Quake Hammer badge in a battle. The best is we also have to uh, get a couple of things in Mount Rugged before we advance. I want to fight this particular one because uh, if we fight, if we use the Quake Hammer, it attacks all enemies and it does two damage each no matter what, how much defense they have. So it'll take out both of them. Now if we uh, go over here with Paracarry, we get, um, there's another one of those bulbs. Huh, you're talking to me. I don't see anyone else here. Alright, you're talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in Flower Field, but you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever knows me. The few people actually see think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation. Here, take these things. This is a precious seed. Keep it well remember me. We get another one we get another magical seed, so uh make sure to pick that one up because we're gonna need it for later. Anyway, so, um, I'm actually gonna cut to an area, and this is the area with the star piece that we previously could not get without Paracarry, so, uh, yeah, make sure to grab that star piece if you're going for 100%. So, um, we can actually just go up here. Actually, if you go over here, there's a, uh, honey syrup that we're probably gonna have to use to get our FP filled up. And plus we have another honey syrup we can use. So uh, yeah, let's just get our FP filled up. So um, yeah, so let's, um, I guess we can now finally get out of Mount Rugged. Except uh, we, we have to take a little short detour. This is gonna lead us back to where we first started. So um, there's no use cut, there's no use cutting out too much footage. Um, I'm only really going to cut out unnecessary battles or long distances we have to travel. So, um... Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is, um... We can now get across this platform that leads us to Dry Dry Desert. However... Hey, you there! Hold up a second, partner. Just a darn minute, I've seen you somewhere. Yep, very similar. You don't. You look a lot like this fellow Mario is on Bowser Wanda's poster. Now give, what's your name? You can say Mario, Luigi, or Princess Peach. If you say Luigi, he'll let you off the hook. And if you just keep saying Luigi, you never have to fight this guy. However, I think saying Princess Peach grants the funniest dialogue, so we're going to say this. What's that? Princess Peach? You take me for a fool? Princess Peach is captain up there in Bowser's castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for it, you big fibber. I'm thinking you're Mario. Prepare for your weapon. Now, he can actually be kind of a challenging boss at point in the game, and this is why I make sure to re-equip Power Jump. Just spam all your FP moves, and you should have, like, um, Refresh and Honey Jars. Like, if you have kind of FP healing items, you should use that, and we have to mash the button. Anyways, this is the first. This is the first time we're gonna use this mechanic. This is when a partner gets hit, they'll be out for a certain amount of turn. Because we mash the button hard enough, Paracat will only be out for one turn. And this is another instance we're gonna need to mash the button because I know his enemy pattern. The fuck. Oh yeah, we're already in danger. Oosh. 
We're after, we don't have much, we have the fried egg with the egg, but uh, I don't want to use the egg just yet. I'll just use Paracarry next turn. Wow, I failed the action command. Not Paracarry next turn, I'll use Eldstar next turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna use Eldstar. Cause I don't want to really use one of my items yet. And just use uh, Paracarry. He should he should be almost down, but um. Can I get out of these for once? If you're in the green, you get to escape. So uh, yeah, I get to I get to time the uh, action command. He should be almost down. I think he has like 40 HP. Wow, that actually didn't affect us. Anyway, so we're gonna use a honey syrup. So we have enough. We have enough PP for uh, another shell shot, another power jump, and he's down. We're well, actually almost to a level up. Yo, I got whooped. Anyway, so if we go down here, if we go down here, there'll be um, not an item. There'll be a heal block and a save block. And um, if we go down here, we're now in dry, dry desert. Now there's one thing I want to do. Remember the remember one of the letters we got in Mount Rugged. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travelers, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist. You know, I traveled the world. At the moment, I'm turning dried right in. I'm turning down dried in the dried right ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information about dried right so it's new here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue and we'll be golden. You're Colorado, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you for a moment. If we give him the letter... Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, good show. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you, ever so old chap. This is what I needed to give me strength to go on. I know. I'll pass this along to a spot on thanks. I came across it while I was interested in doing the dig around here. Anyway, so, um... Now, there's a little... There's a, there's a couple of things I want to get in Dry Dry Desert. And if we go over here... We get a, we get a block which, uh... We get a block which changes mushroom. However, we hit this block 10 times. We get a super shroom. However, if we hit this block a total of 100 times, we get an ultra shroom. So that's solid. I think there's one more thing we have to get that's around here. Actually, I'll wait till later. But um, there's one spot I mainly want to go to in Dry Dry. Hey, new enemies. I didn't expect that. And I think I actually run into them. But um. Now let's just quake hammer them and um, let's actually switch to a uh, Cooper. I actually believe it or not, I think Cooper is one of the better partners you can use in uh, chapter two. Now these enemies, if you don't time the action command, they steal your coins. Now we're just gonna use Cooper to take out the, uh, I think they have a total of five HP. So we'll just quake hammer one more time. We should be almost to a level up, so we don't have to worry about losing too much at FP. One more battle will get us a level up. We get another honey syrup. That's very solid. So um, yeah. So there's one area I want to get to quick. I want to get to in uh. There's a couple of areas I want to get to in Dry Dry Desert, except I'm trying to remember where they are. And it's not around here, but we're getting warmer. But uh, as long as you follow the path, you'll immediately be in Dry Dry Outpost. However, that's not good enough. Um, Alright, that's not, that's not what I'm thinking of. I think it has to be up within this path. I know it's within this path. I think it has to be up. Actually, no, it's not. I know it's around, it's, re, it's like remotely around here. All I remember is that it involves a blue cactus. 
and it could just be my imagination. I remember something involving a blue cactus, and if not, I will look up a guide. I think, um, hold on a second. I might be legit lost because I'm... Oh wait, never there's uh, something around here. If we go over here, we have the runway pay badge. Now on to where the fuck is that blue cactus? I know you have to find a blue cactus. That's the main thing. There's no blue cactus around here. Do like, no matter how many times, sometimes I just get lost in Bride Riders. I just don't exactly remember where the blue cactus is. Come on, where is the blue cactus? I know it has to be like in the middle section of Dry Dry Desert. Hold on a second. I think I remember now where it is, but I just have to make sure. Because I thought I made sure before. And if we go over here, we get the Attack FXC badge, which I knew there was something around here, so thank God we got that. So, might as well add to our collection of Attack FX badges. Alright, hold on a second. We sh we're getting warmer. I think it has to be like, um... I know it's next to an area where a badge is. That's why I remember. I know you might, you guys might be thinking I'm fucking insane trying to look for a blue cactus. I'll just cut till I find it. Alright, I got it after looking up a guide. From this area, go left one screen, then go down one screen. Then you'll get the badge. I was looking for this thing for 15 minutes and I could not find it. But any, either way, we got it. You have to do this particular twister and we get the spin attack badge. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a single move, which this thing is absolutely phenomenal, 400%. If we go over here also... Now, if we go we go over here, we get, we get to upgrade a party member. Bizarrely or not, I'm gonna go with Cooper for now. Because he's the only party member we have at this point that can attack all enemies. And you could just say, why not upgrade Bombette? She gains the ability. But it uses 6 FP, which is a lot for this part of the game. So, yeah, I just, um, we're going to get these things. I'm going to go, I'm going to go put them in the, uh, I'm going to go put them in the shop. But, uh, that's the last thing we're going to do in Dry Dry Desert. So, um, if we go over here, also if we go over here... We had to learn more tea in Cooper Village. However, if we go to Dry Dry Outpost, and uh, I think I might cut it off for this part of Paper Mario. So next time, Paper Mario, we're gonna see what the fuss is about in Dry Dry Outpost. See you guys then.